All right. Uh, finally, here for today, we're going to take a look at uh, derivatives on a piecewise defined function, which necessitates something that we call one-sided derivatives, because our rates of change on one side of the point one, x equals one is the issue here, clearly, um, are those rates of change, those slopes of the tangent line, the derivative is different to the left of one than it is to the right of one. So what we do is if we are to the left of one, which seems to all be controlled by this x squared, then our derivative over there is going to be the limit as defined as h goes to zero, but we're going to keep our zero, we're going to approach zero from the left, so we're putting negative numbers in, we'll see what happens to that, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay. And so if the h is a negative number in there, then the x plus h is really an x minus h, and so we are to the left of the one as we're approaching in there. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, as long as we, uh, if the x was a, a 1 that we were interested in and seeing what's happening just to the left-hand side of that. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do this. This is the limit as h approaches 0 from the left of uh, x plus h squared minus x squared over h, which is our limit as h approaches 0 from the left of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared over h, which of course, as usual, are x squareds. Uh, we've got an x squared minus an x squared. Everything that's left has an h in it in the numerator, so we'll factor that out. Give it 2x plus h over h, and h divided by h is 1 as long as h is not 0, and we're just taking the limit, so that's okay. And we can put a 0 in for the h now, and it doesn't cause a problem, and we just get a 2x. Um, so this is our limit, or our derivative, to the left of 1 um, is just going to be 2x. And so if we wanted to know what the derivative was as we approached 1 from the left, that is going to be 2 times 1 um, if we were to evaluate this at x equals 1 from the left, we would get that uh, it has a slope of 2, a derivative value of 2 to the left of 1. On the other side of this, um, we can't really talk about the 2 at x equals 1 because we can't do a limit as we're approaching something if that's the only place that that point is defined. So we'll go to the right, and our derivative on the right-hand side is going to look like the limit as x, or sorry, as h approaches 0 from the right of 2 minus x. Um, f of x plus h, so 2 minus x plus h minus 2 minus x all over h, which is the limit as h approaches 0 from the right of 2 minus x minus h minus 2 plus x all over h. And I've got a 2 minus 2 those make a 0, negative x plus x will always be 0, and I'm just left with a negative h over h, which is just going to leave me a 1. There's no h's even left in the problem, sorry, a negative 1. I have the negative on the top. Okay. And so this says the derivative to the right is always negative 1 which probably should not be a surprise to me because it was a straight line and I know about slopes of straight lines and I knew the slope of that line was negative one so uh, this whole process probably was overkill. Okay. Um, didn't need to, to work quite so hard at it but uh, that's the way it is sometimes. You don't realize until the end. 
And so if I wanted to overall write what the derivative of this function is, I would write that it is what we discovered to the left is 2x when x is less than 1 and it's negative 1 when x is greater than 1 but when x is equal to 1 because my derivative is defined as a limit and the limit from the left as I approach from the left on the derivative is different than the limit from the right regardless of what the value of the point actually is then this is undefined at that point so normally I would just not even mention it but for now I'll mention that it is the derivative is undefined at 1 it's 2x to the left of 1 and it's negative 1 to the right of 1